That was Russian military blogger Vladlin Tatarsky. The strong supporter of the war in Ukraine was leading a discussion in a cafe in St. Petersburg when he was presented with an award, a bust of himself. Well, you know, he said, thank God I'm much prettier here. Yes, without the belly as you asked, said a woman. Moments later, Tatarsky's belly was ripped apart. The bust had a bomb inside. The explosion killed Tatarsky and wounded 30 other people. Here's the view from a surveillance camera across the street. No one is publicly claiming responsibility, but Russian military bloggers and pro-Russian commentators are pointing at Ukraine and comparing the bombing to the killing last August of Daria Dujina. She was a Russian nationalist television commentator who was killed when a remote-controlled explosive planted in her SUV blew up as she was driving on the outskirts of Moscow. Ukraine has repeatedly denied any involvement in the assassinations. Tatarsky had filed regular reports from the Ukrainian-Russian front lines and had accumulated more than 560,000 followers on his Telegram messaging app channel. Tatarsky was known for his blustery pro-Russian pronouncements and ardent pro-war rhetoric. After Russia invaded and then annexed four regions of Ukraine last year, Tatarsky posted a video in which he vowed, that's it, we'll defeat everybody, kill everybody, rob everybody we need to, it will all be the way we like it, God be with you. Reacting to Tatarsky's assassination, Russia's foreign ministry said the blogger's activities had won him the hatred of the Kiev regime. Since the fighting in Ukraine began in February 2022, Ukrainian authorities have refrained from claiming responsibility for various fires, explosions, and apparent assassinations in Russia. At the same time, officials in Kiev have jubilantly greeted such events and insisted on Ukraine's right to launch attacks in Russia. A top Ukrainian government official described the explosion that killed Tatarsky as part of Russian internal turmoil. Ukrainian presidential advisor Mikhail Podolyak wrote in English on Twitter, spiders are eating each other in a jar. Questions of when domestic terrorism would become an instrument of internal political fight was a matter of time. Russian military bloggers have played an increasingly prominent and influential role in the flow of information within Russia about the war against Ukraine. They have almost universally championed the goals of the war, but at times have criticized Russian military strategy. At the same time, Vladimir Putin's government has squelched down alternative voices opposing the war. Several Russian news outlets have been shut down, limiting the public's access to information, and hundreds of critics have been jailed. Did a Putin critic set the bomb that killed one of Russia's most popular pro-war bloggers? Russia's Interfax News Agency is reporting that a St. Petersburg woman, Drava Tripova, has been arrested on suspicion of involvement in the bombing. The woman had previously been detained for taking part in anti-war rallies. A witness to the assassination said that another woman claimed credit for the bust and presented it to Tatarsky. The alleged bus creator and Tatarsky laughed and joked right before it exploded. The fact that this ruse and killing happened on camera probably is not an accident. By all accounts, the propaganda war between Russia and Ukraine and the actual violence have fused together. Russia, in particular, has taken great satisfaction over the public fears and anxieties among Ukrainian citizens. Well, now it's influential pro-war voices in Russia who've been put on notice that an award may not be what it seems. By the way, one of America's top academic experts on Russia says the Russian economy is crashing. We do know that every key industrial sector is down. We know that the auto industry is down not 10, 20, 30, 40, 80, 70. They're down 99%. 99%. We know the retail industry is down 65%. We get this from everybody who's selling into Russia or buying from Russia. We can see every sector. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.